In Pokemon, there are six basic stats. Health, Attack, Special Attack, Defense, Special Defense, and Speed. Across any format, no one stat is more important than speed. Just before getting into that, I really quickly want to suggest you subscribe. Just under half of my viewers aren't, and you might think you already are. That's all. Normally I'd go into a spiel about why this is the case, but I think speed speaks for itself for why it is so important compared to the other five. Attacking first means you can KO first, hacks first, set your ability first, and an infinite number of possibilities first. I'm instead more interested in talking about the importance of means of how speed is controlled. Starting with VGC Series 12, one look at the format and you can instantly see how every single team is running a Pokemon that can either set Tailwind, set Trick Room, click Max Airstream, be boosted in Weather, or click Prankster Scary Face slash Thunder Wave. Well this begs the question, what's the best form of speed control? From a pure results standpoint, the answer isn't even clear. Tailwind, Airstream, and Trick Room between the three of them almost make a game of rock, paper, scissors. With Tailwind beating Airstream by Prankster Pokemon setting it first, Airstream beating Trick Room by getting damage off on the setters, and Trick Room beating Tailwind by directly negating the effects of Tailwind. Now obviously it isn't that simple. Every form has its own drawbacks, too. Trick Room users can be taunted and it requires the users to move last and take damage. Tailwind effectively requires a squishy prankster user to set it and struggles the most against Trick Room. Max Airstream eats up one of your team's Dynamax turns and plus one isn't always enough speed, and Prankster Scary Face slash T-Wave are countered by immune dark types or psychic terrain. On top of these archetypal means to control speed that players use, sometimes the answer is more simple. Just slapping a scarf onto something like a Kyogre, throwing out Electro Webs with a 200 speed Regieleki, or setting Sun and then having a Chlorophyll Venusaur move fast can all go a long way in making sure you get the damage out quicker than you can take it. All this above considered, and this is all just looking at the current 2022 format, Trick Room, Tailwind, and Prankster Speed Control have all been prominent in VGC for years. As far back to as when VGC first began in Gen 4, we can see remains of past Trick Room and Tailwind archetypes. One of the most important questions I have about Gen 9 is what new ways of controlling speed will Game Freak give to us, like how Gen 8 gave us Regieleki and Max Airstream, 